Hi, I'm Alexa. This is my teammate Natalie over here. Today we're in Assisi. We're really excited to start touring and see everything. We weren't sure if it was Assisi or Assisi, but Assisi. Okay, well, some of us were confused, and but our tour guide said Assisi, so it's confirmed. Also confirmed by Natalie over here. Thank you, Nat. Mm -hmm. Aaron and I are also Catholic, so it's pretty exciting to be here. This is one of the main churches in Assisi. I don't really know how to I don't turn think we can. the camera, so it was <laughs> so it doesn't learn how to turn. Uh, it's the Basilica de St. Francis. It's beautiful and we're just waiting in line. We're really excited the to go inside. The view is also the, Yeah, the view is amazing. I'm not sure if I got this on the vlog yet, but that is to come later if it has not yet been featured. Liz, what did you think of the church? I loved it. I thought it was really pretty. The upstairs church was my favorite. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked how it had um, the story of St. Francis dedicated on the wall, and I didn't realize that a lot of the paintings in the church were meant for people who couldn't read during, you know, 700 years ago when the average person didn't read. And it was a way for people to understand the stories being told. And there is an apartment for the Pope there, which is super cool. That is so, pretty cool. It's holy. It's very holy. We were just in the Basilica de St. Francis. It was a really beautiful church. We couldn't film inside, um, but it was really incredible to see all the different paintings and frescoes that were painted on the wall and have been there for 700 years. Pretty yeah. crazy. Uh, I was talking about this with Liz, but a lot of the paintings on the wall for people who couldn't read at the time. Oh, that's cool. A way for them to understand biblical stories uh -huh. and also stories about St. Francis, which is really cool. Yeah. And St. Francis was born a very wealthy man and at age 24 decided to live a life like Jesus and he gave it all away, which is really hard because he was disowned by his father and many others. but. He is remembered to this day for um, his great, great, acts. great actions and, and he living was a very peaceful life. 24 when he became. It's not too thing. late. It's never too late. Remember that. Okay, Bella, after going into the Basilica de Saint Francis, can you tell me what he is this patron saint of? He is the patron saint of animals and nature, so everything in the environment. Very nice. Very nice. Before we had a discussion about St. Anthony. Yeah. And I actually I did think for no for a second I did get it confused too. But Saint Anthony is the patron saint of what being I don't, lost. You pray to him when you <laughs> maybe not being things. lost. I thought um, it was Saint Francis, but I was wrong. Saint Anthony um, is supposed to guide you on your way, where Saint Francis is for animals, animals nature, and nature in the environment. Very, yes. So taking care of the earth. Yes. So we learned a lot yes, today. Being good stewards. Of, <laughs> yes. Appreciate Thank you, Bella. Of course. Welcome to. The main town square, town square of, of Assisi. Good job. <laughs> How do you feel about taking a picture in front of this lovely structure that's been around for 2,000 years? Well, you know, it's just <laughs> so much history. If you look over here, this was open space, which could you imagine walking out of church and seeing the valley? our tour of Assisi and now we're sitting down at a really good pizzeria apparently that was recommended by a tour guide. So we're excited Family for a big lunch. Family yeah. owned, yeah. yeah. Gotta support the small businesses in the world. True. Plus there's heat here. True. That is free bathrooms. Wow. It's just an all around These? great experience. So this has to be one of the best avocado flavors I've seen. Just kidding. It's really pistachio. If you watch the early <laughs> If you watched the earlier videos, vlogs, you'll understand why I said avocado. Thank you, Coach Blake. 
Uh, but it has to be one of the best pistachio flavors I've ever gotten. Can I get a close up of it? Yeah, I'd love it. Welcome to Assisi, my friends. Another guest vlog appearance. Thank you, Sydney. Um, the gelato is really good. I wasn't expecting it. It was kind of like a spur of the moment. Mm -hmm. I need gelato. And pleasantly surprised. Really good. I gave an update in my vlog, but it's day six. Right? Day yeah. six. And now I've had seven gelato. So Ooh. on pace to go more than one. I haven't day. had that many, but I'm close. But anyways, we're Probably. leaving wherever. We're leaving Assisi. Right? Assisi. Yeah, correct. And we're going to head to our b ball match tonight. I'm here with Nori and Coach Blake. Hey. We just saw a CC. It was pretty awesome. Did you have anything favorite? The streets are really cool. To, to imagine this whole thing you see behind us up there is made in all the stone, all the way up. And the streets are about as uh, wide as some places felt like eight feet. Yeah. I don't know how they drive yeah. cars. Back then they animals and cars. I mean, now they're driving cars through. That's yeah. a good point. I'm, I feel like I almost got hit a couple times. Yeah, really, really. Yeah. Yeah, they don't you, slow down you feel like you're on a sidewalk and then you're like, oh, this is a street. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nori, That's what right. about you? Did you have any favorites? Um, I like really love art, so the frescoes I think were absolutely amazing. I'm gonna see how well they've been like preserved and everything. The color's still so vibrant. It's like absolutely breathtaking. Wow. Yeah. Well, it was a great trip and now we're onward to our game in Rome. Woohoo! Let's go. Peace and out. Go Phoenix. Go Phoenix.